Hey friends, welcome back to Sudoku Maniacs. Now, before I move on to the Sudoku, I just wanted to share with you something that happened today and I found it very ironic and funny. Now, what happened was in the morning I was reading something which I found to be really stupid and silly. And I burst out laughing and I was telling my friend that I felt like banging my head I mean, on reading that. Ironically, about 20 minutes after that, I went to the ATM, withdrew some cash, and I was preoccupied some, about something. And I pulled open the door of the ATM right into my head and have a gash about a, of an inch long. And the moment I hit my head, I burst out laughing and people there were wondering what the hell is wrong with this guy. He's bleeding and he's laughing about. I mean, I had, I was just thinking to myself, 20 minutes back, I was just thinking of banging my head. And here I am after banging my head on a glass door or rather banging the glass door on my head. <laughs> Sometimes they rightly say, what you think does happen. So, never stop thinking. Just make sure you don't think negatively like what I did about banging head and bleeding yourself. <laughs> anyway, so coming back to today's Sudoku. We received a request from Sanika, one of our patrons, who finds the slot machine Sudoku a bit confusing and doesn't know how to proceed. And she wanted us to cover her video highlighting how to approach a slot machine sudoku so we thought why not do that so the rules of the sudoku are rules of classic sudoku apply additionally we see three bands of gray cells right now the sequence of the digits along the gray bands will always be the same and this sequence will be cyclic for example if this was say one two three four i'm just putting in hypothetical numbers and if this was a one then the same cycle and after five six would occur here again as i said this was just to explain what the cyclic positioning is so we have to make sure that on all the three bands the same cycle is followed by the digits all right, so let's get on with it. Now, first thing, always start a variant like a classic, perfect. So the first thing I notice is four, four, that's my four, and this becomes my eight. All right, so I require six, seven, nine, so that's the seven, nine, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, two, two. Oh, perfect, we got one more. So we have a seven, seven. So the seven has to be beside the two. Same five, seven. I can get a pair here, which leaves me with two, four, nine. So that's a four, nine. That's a two, nine. And a two, four, nine. Now, is there anything else that we can move forward with using classic rules? None. All right. So now how do we use these bands to filter down? So since I see that we have already found two digits in the central band and another we have a pair. So let's fill in the other remaining digits. So this will be one, two, three, six, nine, one, two, three, six, nine, one, two, three, six, nine. Correct. Now, is that helpful? Not on the outset, right? because there are five possibilities for each of the central three banded cells. So, now we come to the point where we have to use a position of a number in a banded cell and use that. Now, you know that we have found a two in the third band, right? So let's try to locate the two in the central band. Now, I see the two can be placed in four position. Correct. So now let's try to see what the impact of placing a 2 in each of these. If this is a 2, I would require 7 either above or below it, right? 
But if this was a two, I can't have a seven below because the, the number below is four. And um, in the cell above, the seven is already there in the row. So we know for sure we two cannot be here. Sorry. Same way. If this were a two, I would require seven either here or here, which again is not possible because the seven is locked in column five in the box two. So this also cannot be a two. Now, can this be a two? Yes, it can because I can have a seven above it. So if this is a two, this can be a seven, right? And this also can be a two because I can have seven above or below it. Fair enough. So now from four options, we have come down to only two cells where the digit two can occur in the central band. What next? Now one, here comes a tricky, what you say, situation and you will encounter this a lot of times in a slot machine. So let's assume this was a two, correct? So by classic rules, one, three, one, three also have to be in the central cells, right? So if this were a two, this would be a pair of one and three, correct? So which means immediately below the two, I would have a three or a one. And again, below that would be a one and a three. But when I look at this two, I cannot have a one or a three below this two because we already got the one and three in the ninth row, correct? So we can safely eliminate the two from here as well. Understand? Because if this was a two, I would have one and a three below it because of the classic rules. But the, again, I cannot have a one or a three below this two. So this obviously is not a two. So that gives me final place two. And that becomes a four nine. Now, when I look at the cyclic, positioning one two three four five so one two three four five becomes a four and the second cell below the four would be an eight so we got two more there again now we have a pair of five and seven above and below the two right but i can't have this five over this two above the two so this has to be a seven this becomes a five so here i have a seven and a five so you see how we use the relationship between the bands to eliminate digits from the other cells so now between four and eight i know i can have only a six or a nine below this five i can't have a three or a six so it has to be a one and a nine so we eliminate three and six from there as well correct above the four one three six nine but above this four one and three cannot be there so this has to be a six and a nine correct this we got as a six and a nine we got a pair of six and nine so this will be a pair of i can eliminate this one and three but five cannot have a three below it right so this has to be a one and a three so below the five we get a nine and a three correct six nine six nine good enough we are filling up the last two bands but we have not made any progress on the first now row two i have a two three four five seven and nine so one six and eight are missing this will be a six eight this will be a one six and a one six eight correct however when i look at this eight i know for sure uh, I require a four, two cells above the eight, right? So if this was an eight, so one, two would require a four, which is not possible. So I can't have the eight. So this gives me again a pair of one, six, and this becomes an eight. Eight, eight, eight can be in these two. If this was an eight, four in the two cells above, possible. All right, seven, seven is locked in row eight here. So seven has to be part of these two, correct? But if seven were in the gray cell, I have a two below the seven immediately, right? So in a cyclic order, this would have to be a two, which is again, not possible. So I can eliminate the seven from there. And this gives me a pair of 
6 and 9. Correct? So 6 and 9 can have whichever this digit is. It can either have a 3 or a 4 depending on which number is getting placed where. So let's assume if this was a 6 and a 9. Uh, so 9 and a 6, right? Again, I'm just for example explaining. Now, if this was a 6, I would require a 4, right? Which is not possible because you already got a 4 there. So, obviously, what this means is whichever digit comes here has to be this digit, not the one 6 and 9 option here. Unclear? Clear? No, okay. Let's use our X and Y. And Y, correct? Now, this X can be either a 6 or a 9. And same with the Y, right? Now, if this was a Y, that means I would require a 4 above it, right? But I can't have the 4 because we already have the 4 in box 8. Hence, this has to be the X option. Because below that, I would have my 4. And above that, 3 is possible. Understood? So, this 6, 9 means this one had a 3 and a 1 above it. So, I can blindly place. I had a 4 below it. And below the 4, 6 and 9 option. But here I can't have a 9, so this has to be a 6, and this becomes a 1. So below the 4, I know this is a 6 and a 9. So that's a 9 and a 6. And now that we have got one band, we can blindly fill up the other cells. So 3, 9, 4, 6, 8, 3, 9, 4, 6, 8, 7, 2, 5, 1, perfect. So 4, 6. Now we rapidly fill up this band. And now that we have filled in all the bands, we can simply solve it like a classic Sudoku. So row 1 missing a 9 and a 5. 5, 5 has to be in these two. This cannot be a 5, so this becomes my 5. This is a 5 by classic. The missing digits here, 7 and 2. Oh, I got a 2, so that's a 7, that's a 2. And this is a 4 and a 6 because of this 4, right? Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, missing 8 cannot be here. That's an 8, so 5 and a 6. This would be my 1. This is 3 and a 9. All right. Okay, this cannot be a 9, so that's a 3. So that's a 9 and a 3. Here I require 4 and a 9. So that's a 9 and a 4, because 9 cannot be here. So that's a 4, that's a 9. And that's a 4, so that becomes my 7 and a 9. Correct? 1 and 9, 1 and a 2. Here I require a 6 and a 3, and this box is done. 6 and 8, so that's an 8 and a 6. And that's a 2 and the final 7. And that is how we approach a slot machine Sudoku. I mean, initially it looks like using classic rules, not one digit can be placed. But when we start using multiple bands together to eliminate the possibilities, then it simply opens up. Would love to know your thoughts on what you felt about this video. So do not hesitate to mention in the comments how you found this. And if you did enjoy the video and the Sudoku, do like, share, and subscribe if you have not already done so. And also, if you want to solve the Sudoku online, the link is placed in the description of the video. Hopefully from tomorrow, we'll start or rather restart our series on the solving techniques for classics. So, till the next time, stay safe and happy solving.